Hey, SoundEngraver here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Super Collider demo. Today I wanted to talk about audio files and how to avoid running into trouble when you are working with things like sampling rate. So here you can see I have Super Collider booted up. The server is green and ready to go. I'm using my multi-output device uh, for this recording of this video and also using Super Collider at the same time. And the driver, the audio driver, is sitting at a sampling rate of 44.1 kilohertz. In case you wanted to know, uh, for my audio MIDI setup, I am using my Scarlett interface here. And you can see the sample rate is 44.1 kilohertz and my multi-output device there. So that is my reason, or really that is Super Collider's reason for being at this standard sampling rate. So all is well and good. Now, I wanted to play a drum loop. And so I'm going to right now. <laughs> So very nice uh, drum loop by Stefan Torto. Um, the duration, if you wanted to see, is over 10 seconds, just under 11 seconds. Uh, the number of channels is two because it is a stereo signal. And the sampling rate, so if you ever wanted to know the sampling rate of your audio file, you can have your audio file's name, uh, and you know, signified by this tilde here. It can be any name, not just drums. <laughs> and the sample rate method, so when I evaluate this, you can see that this drum loop is at a sampling rate of 48 kilohertz. I can run into some trouble if the audio server sampling rate is different. And how can I see that? Well, here is my drum loop, just a very basic play buff eugen, or just a synth involving a play buff eugen. Uh, I've got my two channels, you know, if you needed to see the uh, play buff eugen, I've got the number of channels here in this case, two. And I've got the buffer number. In this case, I have it as an argument at zero. Uh, I've got the playback rate, you know, the original playback speed at one. And I didn't need to put in a trigger, um, but I've got a uh, original start position. And uh, I won't worry about loop or done action right now. So that's basically the play buff, Eugen, uh, a very nice signal. And so this should work just for any audio file and I have it here. But when I play it, it's gonna sound a little slower than what it was before, like so. If you remember the speed here, it's a little peppy, a little bit more upbeat. So how do I fix that? Well, the way to do that is instead of just the simple rate being one, we will use the buff rate scale eugen for our rate and, and multiply our rate with it. So what this is effectively, I'm just gonna go ahead and give you the help file for that. It is the buffer rate scaling in respect to the server sampling rate. So what it does, it uh, returns a ratio by which the playback speed of a sound file is to be scaled. So the ratio is the speed of my sound file, in this case, the Torto drums, to the rate of the audio server sampling rate. And then I just multiply that by its original speed. And that should change it for the better. That should play the drums at the original speed, no matter the difference between the audio file, my sound files sampling rate, and the audio server sampling rate. So let's go ahead and evaluate that and let's see if that works. So it should be the original. Now that sounds good to me. Let's go ahead and check it with this one. All right, sounds good to me. All right, so that is how you would uh, fix the problem. And basically, you know, I would say most of the times your sound files are going to have the same sampling rate as your audio server. But this is just a safety net. This is the way to have it just in case you want to avoid running into those problems when it comes to transposition and tempo clock and all of that good stuff. If you want the original speed, the original playback rate, always 
refer to this and, and put that in your synth dev. Thanks so much for watching and listening, and I will catch you later.